Martin Special Teaching presents The Long Old Valentines. OE, OA, and OW. Did you know bells can make teams? Sometimes when two bells go walking, the first one does the talking. I'm on a baseball team. All three of these bell teams say the long O sound. But OE and OW usually go at the end of a bass word. OA usually goes in the middle and OE is not used very often. OW has two sounds. It says O and OW. You can hear both sounds in the word snow plow. In snow it says O and in plow it says OW. But in this video we'll only be talking about when OW says O like in the word snow. Try reading these long old Valentine words. Boat. Goat. Load This word is show. If you see, OW is at the end. We wouldn't put an OA here because OA only goes in the middle or at the beginning of a base word. OW usually goes at the end. There are a few exceptions, but not many. Row, like row a boat. Flow, like the water will flow past the house. Blow, the wind will blow today. No, I don't think we'll get any snow today. Toe. Did you hurt your little toe? This spelling of toe talks about a part of your body, but there's also another spelling of toe, which we'll do later. Ho. Can you hoe the garden and get the weeds out? Let's read some Valtine sentences. Do you know this word? Kim likes to play in the snow.
let's look at these three words. We have three different ways to write the long O sound. Joe is using OE, the vowel team, at the end of the word. The word blow is using the vowel team OW to say O. And then the word nose, what's making the O say its long sound? If you said it was a silent E at the end, you're right. That silent E is making that O say O. So we have Joe, blow, and nose. Let's try reading a sentence with these words. Joe has to blow his stuffy nose. Uh-oh, it looks like he better use his tissue to help him. Here we have EE -E as a vowel team, OA as a vowel team, another OA, and AI. Do you remember the EE -E and the AI vowel teams? The sweet goat got soaked in the rain. Zoe has to wipe all the windows clean. Here we have the vowel team OA. Try to read this sentence. The soap in the bath is foaming. See how we have the base word foam and we've added a suffix to it, ing. Ing tells me that something is happening now, foaming. The kids like to throw the snowballs. She plans on roasting the turkey. Sometimes vowel teams with different spellings and the same sound help us because the difference in spelling means a difference in meaning. Look at these. Did she groan? when she had all that candy?
she has grown some plants. Here you can see that grown and grown sound exactly the same but have different meanings. In the first sentence, the little girl has eaten too much candy and her stomach hurts, so she's groaning. In the second sentence, the little girl has grown some flowers, and those two have different meanings, so we need to spell them differently, but they sound the same. Those are called homophones. Let's try another. Did they tow the broken car away? Here we have a car that's broken and it's being pulled or towed by the vehicle. There's another way to spell tow, which we used earlier in this video. Do you remember how to spell it? Well, we only have two ways to spell O at the end of a word. We have O-W, so the other one is O-E. She hurt her big toe. We have two different spellings because we have two different meanings. Try reading these Valentine words. Elbow, coach, glow, throat, show, below. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the Long O Vowel Teams. If you need more resources for teaching about the Long O Vowel Teams, you can find resources in the link below. Come to my store smart and special teaching where you'll find lots of resources to help students learn about reading and writing. Thank you.